Hi, my name is Ruth. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been a professional makeup artist going on 19 years. I've worked on many sets with many celebrity clients and I would love to show you how to get some of those looks. This is just a few of the budget friendly items that I use myself. Um, I really love uh, L'Oreal True Match. Uh, their range is incredible. Of course they have their concealers which is also the True Match. You can use these um, for so many things, not just your lips. Sometimes you can use these for your cheeks. You can put a little bit of color on your eye um, if you want a nice wash of color. So, and these I found at Walmart. And these two is the same line, and these are eyeliners. And I, I love to have funky colored eyeliners, especially for the summer, for spring, or if I'm doing any editor uh, editorial work. These are so cool. Lashes. Lashes are very hard for people to do, but if you get extensions, you know you're paying 150 or more. But these are if you practice long enough. These are individual. These are so quick to put on. I love Ame, and I, I find that a lot of people have a lot of sensitivities now. Um, and so these are really good. They, they have bronzers, they have blushes. They also have a great line of um, foundations, and it is very budget friendly and good ingredients. Um, Ame powder as well. These are Bur Burt's Bees um, lip crayons. I love them. I love it, I love it. Ame um, mascara, also good for people with um, contacts, um, with sensitive eye issues. Oh, you, you can use these for so much. So I like to buy the compacts um, with different colors. These are concealers, right? Um, and they come in ranges from light, medium, and dark. They have correctors as well. Um, if you have dark circles, you know, certain um, pigmentation issues, um, you can hide them with mixing this these colors so um, and I also use sometimes these darker colors to contour elf I love elf elf has some really good products too that are so budget friendly I think you get it at Target again you can mix you can be very creative and play um, but these are good tones as well as these Maybelline uh, contour bronzing um, they come in like they'll have a highlighter and they'll have different colors. This is Revlon. This is um, one of my favorite blushing nude and I, I buy th this color specifically a lot. Another favorite, uh, the L'Oreal Mascara. This is always good to have and that's it. So today, for your interview, quick makeup look, I'm going to use the L'Oreal, but I'm also going to show you um, another foundation, which is sort of like a tinted, what you would say a tinted moisturizer is, if you want a light coverage. And they come in really good uh, shades. Uh, in different undertones. These MAC Studio Face and Body come in such good range. This is good to have so you can sort of mix and find your own individual shade without having to go buy three or four different big foundations and um, not knowing what works for you. So again, I'm gonna go under where you where you need it, right? You're gonna you're not doing a full face of glam, you're doing something that's going to be quick, easy, and enhance your already beautiful features. What I'm doing is I'm neutralizing any uh, discoloration. Gabby has a few spots, right? And and you want an even tone. You can yes, right, right, right. Um, so I sort of stipple it on the areas that she needs it. So you're pushing the product in. 
blending it, but pushing it in as well. And then I'm gonna go with a, a bigger brush and sort of start blending it a bit more with the foundation. You always, when you go in to buy foundation, you always wanna match your neck, right? Um, it's, it's normal to have two or three different shades in, on your face. Um, because we're in the sun, we're exposed to the sun, or you may be going through acne. And before I powder her, I'm going to fill in her eyebrows. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a wash color in Gabby's eye. Okay, remember, makeup shouldn't be distracting, so you wanna just, don't ever wanna overdo it. And then I am going to add the lip. And the lips. going to just outline your lip a little. You can also use lip liners as a lipstick. You don't have to do the whole, I, I need a match. See how I added um, a, a little bit of lip liner? That was close to To the gloss color and now it looks more it has more definition more depth and there you go Gabby has a little bit of color even skin um, mascara is so important um, and a nice color that complements your skin tone and now you're ready Thank you so much for watching my makeup booth. I really, really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And also, if there's anything specific that you wanna see, please comment below. Thank you.